Welcome to all of you on the channel Math with Munir. So today we are going to learn a new concept simple interest versus compound interest from D3 maths. Then and this topic for is for this topic have been taken from chapter number 5. So first of all you need to learn that what does it mean by interest. Let's suppose that you are depositing some money into a bank and you are allowing bank to use your money for some different purposes. So in return, bank is going to give you profit aka interest. All right. In a similar way, if you want to start a new business and you don't have money for that, you are, you are asking some banks to give you loan. The banks are giving you loan and they are saying that, all right, you can use that money, but you have to pay back us. You have to pay us back interest. All right. It means that you have to pay them back interest. So it's actually work on the both cases. So let me explain this in a different way let's suppose that here we have bank any bank name a and here we have user which is b so if you, you are asking bank to give you money if you are asking bank to give you money so it means that at the end you have to pay them back interest or the prof interest or profit so this works in the opposite direction as well. Bank A user and now this time you are depositing money into a bank and banks are using your money for some different purpose. So it means that they are going to give you the interest back or the profit. Now there are some conditions that must need to be specified whether you are paying back interest to the bank or the bank is paying back interest to you and this is depend upon time which we are going to represent over here with capital T and the rate and the rate okay so I hope that you are much clear about what does it mean by interest and how does this actually work so I'm now I'm going to explain simple interest versus compound interest and how does this actually work simple interest versus compound interest so let's suppose that at both the interest rate also depends upon the principal amount that you are going to deposit in the bank or you are take borrowing or taking from the bank in the shape of loan so let's suppose that I am depositing $1,000 as a principal amount to the bank and I am fixing that principal amount for two years and the banks are saying to me that all right you are you are depositing $1,000 to us as a principal amount and you are agreeing to this condition that you are going to keep this money for two years then on, on that case we are going to give you the profit rate which is 10% per year all right 10 percent per year okay so to calculate the simple interest that how much amount how much amount you are going to get back after two years along with that this is the amount that you are going to get back in any case which was your principal amount you need to find out the additional so formula for this simple interest i is equals to p r t over don't be confused with this hundred and how does how does this hundred came ten percent I told you already in my previous video that percent means that per per and said you see we have defined this ten percent like this so now you just need to plug in back the values and you are going to get the answer P is thousand R is ten T is two divided by hundred this zero with this zero this zero with this zero 100 times 2 is going to give you $200. So you see we have just calculated the interest. It means that at the end of the 2 years, you, this is the profit that you are going to get which is 200. So if someone asks you to find out that, so how much amount in total you are getting. So obviously you are going to plus the principal amount plus the interest that you are, you are getting from the bank. So the total amount that you are going to get back is actually $1200. So this was the simple interest. I mean, you have deposited $1,000 into a bank 
तो एट दी एंड ऑफ दी फर्स्ट ईयर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट इलेवन हंड्रेड बिकॉज टू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड फॉर वन ईयर सो इलेवन हंड्रेड इज योर अमाउंट एट दी एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर सो इन दी सो इलेवन हंड्रेड इज योर अमाउंट एट दी एंड ऑफ दी फर्स्ट ईयर सो ऑन सेकेंड ईयर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट टेन परसेंट प्रॉफिट अगेन ऑन थाउजेंड डॉलर नॉट ऑन इलेवन हंड्रेड so this is the difference between simple interest and compound interest i am going to repeat it once more once you are depositing 1000 dollar into a bank for 2 years so at the end of the first year you are going to have amount 1100 dollar right so when the second year come you are going to get 10% profit on 1000 dollar all right while in compound interest if you are depositing the same money to the bank like 1000 dollar for 2 year so at the end of the first month you are going to get 1100 so for the second year you are going to get profit on 1100 not on 1000 all right so that is the difference between simple interest and compound interest or in other words you can say that compound interest is basically profit on profit right 1100 is already a profit and now you are getting again profit on 1100 not on 1000 dollar so formula for compound interest the same value we are we are going to take so that you can understand the difference between them clearly principal amount is 1000 dollar time is 2 years and rate is 10% per year okay so formula to calculate the compound interest is a p into 1 plus so this is the formula for uh, compound interest so we we need to plug in the value so you see a so it means that we are directly calculating the total amount that we are going to get at the end of the 2 year so principal amount is 1000 dollar into 1 Plus R is ten percent. We already wrote that. N number of years R two. Cut this zero with this zero. Thousand. Okay, so thousand. Multiply once you solve this bracket, you are going to get eleven over ten squared. Okay, simplify this. Thousand. Multiply by eleven square is going to give you one twenty one, and ten square is going to give you hundred. So these two zero are going to cancel with this two zero, and we are left with one two one multiply by ten. So multiply these two, so one two one zero. So you see over here. You got twelve hundred dollar at the end of the uh, two years, and over here you are getting. One thousand two hundred and ten dollars. So obviously, ten dollar here is more than that. So this is compound interest, basically profit on profit. So if you have got this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share with the student as much as you can. It might help many students.